Welcome, in front of me is a Nubia Red Magic 8 Pro and today I will show you how you can copy contacts from your SIM card to the device. So, to get started, let's find our contacts application, which for me it is on the second page right over here. It will look like this. Once you see it, you can open it up. I'm gonna allow whatever it wants. And before I do anything, I'm gonna just quickly mention a couple of things. So, as you can see right now, I have a bunch of contacts in here. And these contacts are being pulled from the Google account, which you can view right over here. We also have the option to pull contacts from the phone, which only has five contacts. And there's nothing else. So just the phone and the Google account. Now, in your case, if you are logged in into a Google account, it will probably also automatically pull contacts from it and uh, automatically select that as your default contact list. And you will also probably not see the phone because by default you won't have any contacts on your actual phone as meaning saved on the storage of the phone. If you don't have any kind of contact saved on it, it will not show this up. It just kind of is hidden by default. And another thing, if you have multiple Google accounts, you can see them all here and pull contacts from different ones, but you can always pull contacts from contacts from a single account at a time. So in this case, it's going to be showing me from just this Google account. And if I had another one, I would need to swap to that one to see contacts from the other Google account. Now, getting into the actual import, we're going to go to fix and manage, and then we're going to select manage SIM. This will automatically select every contact that isn't already on this Google account because it does default into it. Now we can tap on the drop down and change where it will be importing contacts to. And oddly enough, we have another device option. So we have uh, C contact sub one, not exactly sure what that refers to. So contacts may not sync uh, or be available on your other devices. Cool. I mean, that's how to expect it to work. Uh, but as you can see, we also have another device right here. So I was viewing this one prior. That is supposedly the device itself. And this one is another one. Now, when I switch to it, as you can see, there is only one contact selected and I cannot select at once because contacts already exist on the uh, Google account. So it's just blocking me from creating duplicate contacts. But I could, for instance, change to the device and this will automatically select all the contacts because there is no contacts on the device itself, apparently. And if I select import now, it's going to import all the selected contacts. And when I go back to contacts list, I can now tap on it and it will now show another option. So phone and device, you can select device. And as you can see, there are the contacts. And like I mentioned before, previously, we only had the phone and the Google account. Now we have additional one device. So there we go. This is how you would import your contacts from your SIM card. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.